Starting out building golf carts in his garage during COVID, Nick Distasio of Carts Inc. has really made a big change in the last few years. Golf Carting TV is your inside source for the coolest upgrades, mods, and accessories to take your trusty golf cart from drab to fab. Hey, welcome to Golf Carting TV. This is Matt from Converted Carts. So glad to have you in today. So today we're going to be featuring a fantastic dealer down in Fredericksburg, Virginia. Uh, Nick Pistacio from Carts Inc. is going to be joining us. He's got some great stuff to say. They carry some of the top brands uh, available in the country. And we're going to get into some of that as well as some of his story about how we got into it and uh, I think it's gonna be fun. So let's jump right in. All right, Nick, well, welcome to Golf Cutting TV. Uh, glad to have you and uh, excited to have a conversation with you. So welcome in. Hey, how's it going, Matt? How are you? I'm doing very well. So let's start with uh, just a little bit of the, the story. What's the Cart Sync story? How did you get involved in this stuff? And uh, start wherever start wherever you want. Well, we don't we don't have a really long story, but I'd say it's a, you know, we've, we've gotten lucky in a lot of situations and uh, made some good decisions and picked some good brands and some good partners and stuff along the way. But we start off in my garage uh, about 15 minutes from where we are now. I, basically, we were we really enjoyed camping and and all those things. And with camping comes golf carts and. Uh, the inquisitive mind of mine kind of drew me into building more and more golf carts as, as, as soon as I we, I bought one and then I wanted to build another one that was a little nicer and that just kind of took off and went crazy. Uh, we started buying refurbs, mainly club cars. In December of 21, we ended up opening our first actual storefront location uh, where we picked up Evolution and we were still doing refurbs there. And anybody that knows anything about the golf cart industry, uh, refurbs kind of fell off. There were a few brands that, that, that helped ease that pain a little bit. And evolution was one of them. So we took them in and we took icon in as well. Um, and since then we've, we've brought in Navitas. Now we've got Mad Jacks X series and all of them coming on. So we've expanded. We started with a small shop. We've doubled our footprint there. We're actually about to expand a little bit more. Uh, we've opened up another shop out in Urbana, Virginia. We have a used cart center about 20 minutes from this location. So um, we've, we've had a lot of growth really quickly. Um, I'd say COVID played a big, a big role in it. We had a lot of, obviously there was crazy demand during that time period. And that was in our real infant stage. So it caused us to grow really fast. And, you know, that, you know, there, there's benefits to that situation now there's some things we go back and wish we'd have done different but we've learned a whole lot and uh we brought on some really great staff in the meantime that is very very knowledgeable in the golf cart industry so tell me a little bit more about the starting in your garage you said you bought one and then you bought another one and like was that just happenstance or you had it and then somebody said hey i want that and you said okay so i'll sell it or did you have the mentality to start with that you know hey i think i could build these things and flip them I've always had an entrepreneurial mindset. Uh, I didn't know what, at that stage, I guess you would say, I didn't know that it was an entrepreneurial mindset, but I know that it is now. Um, and so it, it was in my mind of, hey, I'm going to start cheap. I'm going to get the cheapest one I can that'll fit the bill for the family to get around the campgrounds and stuff. And now, and then it was, I would just continually upgrade that and then. Once I got to the extent, I mean, the first cart was a 92 Easy Go Marathon. So you can only upgrade a 92 Easy Go Marathon with so much, considering there wasn't much left of the frame either. Um, and uh, I mean, I had to put a new controller in it when I got it. The batteries were shot and had no wiring harness. So I mean, we pretty much started from scratch on this thing and put too much money into it. Um, so I bought another one, which was, a, I think, a 97. Um, and just kind of ended up going from there and sold that marathon, made doubled my money on it, was over the moon excited about it. And um, 
And then the next one after that was a, a club card DS. It was an O2, I believe. And uh, it just, I actually still see that customer every now and then as well. Uh, we had not come in for a lithium battery swap a few months ago. and uh, But from there, it just took off. It went absolutely crazy. Tell me about your locations. I know you mentioned Urbana. What, Where are you at right now? Fredericksburg, is that right? Yeah, so I'm in Fredericksburg. This is our Fredericksburg showroom. So we have a service department here and uh, our warehouse space and all is in Fredericksburg. We also have a used cart center in Fredericksburg currently as well. Um, we did that just to get some road frontage and uh, to move some of our used carts uh, more efficiently rather than sitting them next to something fancy in the showroom. It's, it's just a different demographic of, of customer and, and what they're looking for. Um, and then our Urbana showroom, we actually acquired a, a company called Unique Golf Carts out of Urbana, Virginia. They've been in business for, I want to say it was about 15 years before we took them. Um, and so we acquired them and have since rebranded it to Carts Inc. as well. And, uh, and they're operating as we speak. So what are some of the, the brands? I know you mentioned a little bit earlier, but uh, tell me a little bit about some of the brands that you carry and maybe why those versus something else or, or you know, just a little bit of history or background on what, what brands and maybe what's one of your your best selling one so far? Let's start with Evolution because it was the first new car brand that we picked up. It's actually our number one selling brand at this point. I th the value for the money that comes with these things is just unparalleled by any other brand at this point. Uh, I mean, just they've got nine inch touch screens on a lithium battery from the factory. It, it's just a great value. And we've actually learned to work on these things pretty efficiently as well. We also brought in the Navitas carts as well. Uh, we, you know, anybody that knows the golf cart industry, it's a, it's a frame up build type setup. And uh, we've done pretty well with those on our custom side, I guess you would say. We've got this cart builder back here in the back that shows, you know, you can virtually build a cart and we can actually build the cart, you know, for the customer to see as well. So it's, it adds another spin to the business. And uh, we've, we've been pretty successful with selling those as well. Um, our newest brand, I'd say, and uh, the Gen 2 Mad Jax X Series, they're going to be here in hopefully a couple of weeks. Hopefully by the time this is published, they'll be here, I would think. And uh, I think that's going to be a complete game changer in, uh, on our sales side with the way that they support their customers as well. And uh, I think it, it's going to kind of take us to the next level. Nick, if somebody was was coming to you and and interested in buying a car for the first time, um, what are some of the the biggest questions they should be asking, or that you ask them to kind of make sure that they're getting? You know, you're carrying several brands, so you know, how do you help them decide what's the right thing for them? And you know, what are some of the questions they should be asking when they're out there searching for something? We generally start with asking a customer what their use for the card is. Um, folks use them. In, in our area for several different things. From campgrounds, we've got lake communities, river communities, actual golf courses, folks that use them on farms, you name it, we've got it out here. There's, uh, we serve a, several different markets. So we, we start with that and a lot of times that limits, you know, I wouldn't say limits, but narrows some things down considerably as to what they're looking for. We talk about their budget as well. And whether they're financing, sometimes there's some financing incentives that help it out. So their budget just in general, uh, what kind of performance they're looking for. And sometimes that's determined by what their use is. But, you know, sometimes we have to talk about it because, you know, if they want to run 35 miles an hour, there's only a few options there. We talk about their ride height and their their comfort options and things like that. And and another thing that, that customers should be asking about is, is just the warranty that is it's given by the manufacturer and how the dealer supports the warranty setup and what the maintenance is on, on the cart, because those are all big things that are uh, continuous expenses along the way and journey of owning a golf cart. Tell me a little bit more about that. That I've been hearing some, uh, it's just come up in conversations more recently, but, but explain to me the, the kind of warranty side relative to some of the manufacturers, maybe give me some examples uh, relative to a manufacturer. And then are there aftermarket options or something like that? Or like, what's, what is it? Absolutely. About the we, actually, we offer an aftermarket option as well. 
Um, but for instance, Evolution's a two-year bumper to bumper and five years on their battery. And you know, Navitas, they provide a, a two-year uh warranty on their chassis. Uh and you know, if we drop an eco battery in those things, it, that's an eight-year warranty on the battery, regardless of where we drop it, which is a good setup. Um, the Mad Jax X series, for instance, is a three-year bumper to bumper parts and labor. They cover it completely and then eight years on the battery because those have eco batteries in them as well. Um, and then we also offer um, extended warranties to a company called EWG that um, a customer can extend their warranty now up to about five years, I believe. And or maybe even longer now. I've got to double check, but it's about five years. And uh, that covers parts and labor anywhere in the country. They they'll pay the bill and get the customer back on the road. So if they buy it from us and they're in Texas, for instance, their warranty is still good to go. And uh, it follows the cart anywhere in the country. What is it about the golf cart world that you love? Like if, if someone's just to ask you, why in the world are you selling golf carts? Tell me a little bit, just personally, kind of what's, what is it that you enjoy about it most? It's just fun. Um, it's, you know, I mean, it's work like any, anything else. And, they're, you know, some days are better than others, but really it's just fun. You're dealing with fun people and a fun time of their life. It's, it's recreational. Um, you're not selling somebody a, a golf cart because they have to have it nine times out of 10. It's not like, you know, being in the car business where somebody comes in and they have to have it and they dread the whole payment thing. They dread the whole process. Uh, we, we do it to have fun. We try to make the process as fun as possible. Um, our slogan's powered by fun and, and, I think we live by that pretty well these days. And uh, I think that's what separates the golf cart industry from from several different things that, that one could choose to do is um, I can't think of any time I've ever really been on a golf cart. I haven't been having fun in some way or fashion. Yeah, I, I feel the same way. I know, you know, since I've gotten mine, it's just I want to get on it every day if I can. Unfortunately, in Ohio, we don't have as nice weather <laughs> as you guys do down right, there. So I got to I got to deal with it. Yeah. Um, well, tell me a little bit about the the future. What does the future look like for Card Sync, and where are you guys where are you guys going in the next year, or two years, five years? Well, I would say this: uh, the golf cart industry, especially over the past five years, has been uh, a very fast moving, changing industry. I mean, we go from being able to get inventory to not being able to get inventory to being begged to take inventory and, um, and on the parts and the unit side. Um, so I would say it's a really hard question to answer, but I can tell you that we're, we've got some things cooking. We've, we've got some, you know, we're working on a little bit better web presence. Uh, we, you know, we're expanding stores as well. There's a couple of options on the table for that as well so um without giving too much information but do with that what you will i really appreciate you to coming on today but share a little bit about and we'll put a, some stuff on the screen and things like that but uh tell us how you where you can you be found what's the internet uh website address social medias things like that all right so we're on uh facebook instagram TikTok. Twitter and there's probably some social media networks that I didn't even know we were on at this point. Uh, we've been on all of them. Our website is cartsinkva.com. Uh, you can contact us if you if you got any questions or you're interested in any of our inventory or anything at sales at cartsinkva.com. And uh, we're in Fredericksburg, Virginia, and Urbana, Virginia.